What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so the reception for this game is pretty good. Thank you, guys. Huge, huge thank you. So, let us continue on right here, and let's move on. Like, you guys already seen it in the last episode. We finally started right here in Brilliant Diamond, and we chose our very first Pokemon. That is our good old buddy, Chimchar, or, as we all know him, Infernomon. Now, Chimchar, Fire-type Pokemon pretty uh happy pretty lively and all that stuff has an impinged nature and all that crud and well you know look at that look at that stuff okay alrighty so enough learning about this guy let's go right ahead and just move on to the next thing because yes we met professor Rowan got the pokedex we did a lot of stuff you know you met our previous girl from, Pro from Pokemon Platinum and all that stuff and well here we are in San Jim Town now there is one little thing that I kind of want to do here before we go anywhere is that we I kind of want to go down south I think there is an item right here that we can find yes look at that found an item found ourselves an antidote much needed antidote because well yeah we're gonna be battling a lot of Pokemon around here now you guys have been questioning why haven't I put up a background or anything like that. It's mainly because in this game right here, guys, I'm pretty dang sure that I'm going to be using multiple Pokemon from different regions and whatnot. And, you know, me swapping it back and forth of what Pokemon I'm going to be using, it, it gets tiresome. So here we have Dawn, and she's going to be teaching us how to capture some Pokemon. It's very simple, guys. Fairly simple. Here, coming up with a Bidoof, our Lord and Savior, and, well, our girlfriend right here. She's taking out her Turtwig because apparently we were going to be using a Turtwig ourselves. Now, we already know how to do this. I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to say that, well, while we're not having any kind of backgrounds or anything, guys, I will be, you know, doing a little bit of editing, you know, mainly for the wild Pokemon and all that stuff because I do see that the Switch games do take a little bit longer than expected, you know, at least 30 minutes or, or so. I know many of you guys don't want to hear me talk over and over and over again. So it's just, you know, we're going to be doing some editing, hopefully, in the near future right here. Right now, we're just starting off. I'm going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible. Uh, you guys already know, I'm doing Pokemon, uh, what was it, Shining Pearl on my other uh, Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, we're going to be switching up Pokemon. We're going to be doing some stuff, you know, showcasing some things. And, uh, well, here's Don telling us everything that we need to know. And because of that, we get ourselves a few Pokeballs. I think she gives us about 10 of these. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe for long, long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Okay. Alrighty, there she goes. Whew. Okay, so let us go. Let us start our adventure right here because uh, we got things to do. We got business to take care of and all that crud. And, well, the first thing is that we're going to be taking on this Starly. Now, as many of you guys already know, we've got a Starly back in Pokemon Platinum and use them. Now, let's go ahead and try and do something with this Pokemon right here. And I did not mean to do that, so let's go with a Scratch. All right, Scratch Attack. It does its thing. And... Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, not run, but let's go ahead and try this again. Yeah, buddy. And, well, right now, Starly's just keeping up a fight right here. So, let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. Um, me, I, I, I really do like using different types of Pokeballs for different Pokemon. But, you know, this one you can actually decorate the Pokeballs. And, well, there we go. We finally caught ourselves a Starly. Now, me being the person that I am, I completely forgot the name of, of the Pokemon that I captured. So, let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and find out what nickname we gave it. I think we gave it Starblade, right? I think it was Starblade. So, here we have Starly, the normal and flying type Pokemon, the Starling Pokemon. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Where it comes with great responsibility. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. I believe it was Starblade. Hold on. Let me take a look. Uh, yep, it was Starblade. Okay, so say hello again to our good old buddy Starblade. And yes, we caught the female, so it is a female. So there we go. Starblade. Now, again, I'm not going to be using the same Pokemon as in Pokemon Platinum, but you, 
you know, you will be seeing them from here and there and all that stuff. It is actually ha nice to have some backup right here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Starblade. Okay, Starblade, how's it going? It's been a while. And, well, you got a gentle nature. And, uh, well, you're level 3, you love your bitter food and all that crud. So our special defense and defense is just like flip-flopping. Now the ability is quick, uh, is Keen Eye, which prevents other Pokemon from lowering its defense so or its accuracy. So, let us continue right here, guys. We got a lot, a lot to cover. Here we have a Pokemon battle, and it's going to be against a trainer here. So let's go right ahead and start battling. It has been a while now. So here we have a uh, youngster Tristan wanting to take us on with his short shorts and everything. Here he comes out with a Starly, and well, you know, I'm not I'm not too afraid of Starly right now. So let's go Infernomon. Time to eat. Let's go. Let's go with uh, Ember Attack, how we should have done it. Now, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, yes, it's the same deal. You know, the experience share works for everybody, including when you capture Pokemon, which is a great thing. So as you can see, we're... Uh, we probably should have trained just a little bit for this right here. And look at that. Starly's getting its butt kicked. So now here comes a quick attack. And Starly has taken me down to 3 HP. So here we go. I don't usually... Uh, I'm not usually this weak by the, at this at this point. But, you know, it is what it is. And look at that. We grow to level 7. And Young Citrician is not so happy right here. Too strong. Too strong. Yeah, you're not... You're not you're not that strong. Okay, homie. Okay, so let's see. We do have some potions, right? Yes, we have ten of those little bastards. And let's go ahead and give Starblade one now. Like I mentioned before, guys, not going to be using the same Pokemon I've had in uh, in Pokemon Platinum. I'm going to... They're going to make appearances here and there. Um, I'm not... I'm not too... Uh, well, how should I put it, guys? Some of them will, will be in. Some of them will be out. Uh... The way, the thing, like the way that I, I, I've seen this whole thing go uh, go on in Pokemon uh, uh, Shining Pearl, I think you can train your Pokemon up to a, a pretty high level and all that stuff. So I will be keeping them, you know, nice and trained just in case we need to battle some specific trainers and whatnot. And here we have Beedoo getting burned. And well, look at that Growl attack! Oh my God, that is not cool. That is definitely not cool. So. Here we go, a burn, you're getting hurt, and don't forget the attack, you know, you're losing your attack right there, so here we go, Ember attack, for the win, say goodbye to be doof. oh yeah, oh yeah, and well with that, Starblade grows to level 4, which is great, and well, she's about to be using another Bidoof, so let's just continue on right here, you know, Jimchar can do it, Inferno Mon, ready to go, now, my Pokemon team in this version, I, I, it's almost like an experimental team. I kind of want to just like try some Pokemon that you probably wouldn't see me choose. Not some weak Pokemon, you know, some out of the ordinary Pokemon that you probably just like, you know, you 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 think that good old Draven would never use. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We 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 will see, guys, because I, I'm I'm very excited for this game. I'm having fun. I really am, guys, and, uh, you know, there are a lot of possibilities within this game right here. Now, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here before we, you know, take on another guy. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Here we go, youngster Logan wanting to battle us, so he is going to be coming out with a Shinx. Remember, guys, you can get Shinx very, very early on right here, and, well, there we go. Shinx is using its Intimidate, which, you know... It's always nice to, 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 you know, to see. So let's go Ember Attack, Special Attack right here. And this one does some pretty good damage. So here comes a Thunder Truck from Shinx. That hurts me. And, well, let's go again one more time with an Ember Attack. So good thing we are not using Star Blade in this one right here. That would have been bad. Well, that would have been for all parties are all considered right here. So let's go again, another Ember Attack. And there goes Shinx. Yes, you are not... Yeah, you are not going to get this victory. And, well, both our Pokemon are growing up to levels. And, uh, look at that. Starblade has learned a quick attack. And, uh... Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're, we're, we're kicking some ass right here. We are. Okay. So, let's move on. And I do believe... Yes, there is an item right here that we can get. And that is another potion. And, well, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go inside the grass, okay? I kind of want to get somebody 
from this grass right here. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. So, yes. <laughs> I was looking at this Pokemon for quite some time. Yes. You can capture a Shinx right here. And, well, they, they actually did some... um. They actually improved Shinx just a little bit. Uh, normally, you wouldn't get a an electric attack till like, God knows what level right here. But in this one, you can actually get it very early on. I believe it's, it, you know, I believe you can get it at level 5 or so. So, here we go. And that is a nice scratch attack. And here comes a leer attack from the Shinx. And right now, we are not looking at a pretty good battle. So, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball right here. And, well, let's see. Come on. Stay in the ball. Throwing out that peace sign. That's right, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Okay. Alrighty. And that is another Pokemon that we've caught in this episode. Say hello to Shinx. And this Pokemon right here is the Flash Pokemon. Electric type Pokemon. All of its fur dazzles if dangerous it's or wait 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 I can't even read that wait all of its fur dazzles if danger is sense it flees while uh, the foe is momentary momentary momentarily blinded you don't think okay okay so let's see what is a good nickname for Shinx right here see if you can blind you okay let's go ahead let's see you know what let's go let's go ahead and call it this I really like this name for it let's go. There's another star right there. <laughs> oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and do this, okay? Electro star, okay? So elect. That's right. True. Um, star. Okay, so we're gonna fill everything out. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wrong one right there. Okay. So say hello, guys, to Electro Star right here. You guys don't like the nicknames? I do not care. Okay. So here we go. Let us move on, and actually, let's go ahead and take a look at Shinx, okay? I kind of want to look at this Pokemon. So, as you can see, we got Shinx, Electric-type Pokemon, female, level 3. This Pokemon is pretty bashful by nature, and, well, look at that. Uh, it happily eats, eats anything. It's lo often lost in thought, and because of its nature, none of its uh, stats right here will actually be affected. It's neutral, so the Intimidate is its ability. will actually lower the Pokemon's uh, physical attack, so... Let's go into Jubilife City, and as you can see, well, hello, hello, Chibi Form Dawn. How you doing? Hi, Draven. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, uh, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jubilife, there's a trainer school which, well, you know. Draven, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Barry went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Well, well she's leaving us right here. Okay, so, uh... Here we are in Jubilife City, and well, before we do anything, let's go straight into the Pokemon Center. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go in there, fast forward, and then come back out. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're nice and healed. Uh, we're feeling like pimps and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are in Jubilife City, guys. As you guys already know, there is a trainer school. I kind of want to hit that up right here first. I believe this is it, right? Yes, this is the trainer school, and uh, well... Here we are, just like always, instruction, and well, there he is, Equensuocha himself, Barry. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, Draven, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the bub up, up in the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Draven, what brings you here? You've got something for me? And yes, we gave him the parcel that was given to us by his mama. Score, it's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it. I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Draven, you take one. And look, we get ourselves a town map. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Okay, well, there, yeah. Greatest trainer of all time, alright. Well... Whatever. Anywho, here we are in the trainer school. Now, I think if you talk to this lady, she says, You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up the topics you're not familiar with. I am already familiar with every single topic, so... Let's go ahead and go right here, because I think you battle these guys. Now, talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, Battling is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Sure, let's go. Go, my Pokemon, go. Now... 
There is a little something that you need to know about this guy. He does have an Abra. Many of you guys are thinking that, well, you know, if you take it on an Abra, it's just teleport. But this guy was smart enough to give it an Electric-type attack. So, let's go right ahead and physically destroy this guy. And, well, because Abra is faster than us, bam, Charge Beam. Hitting us pretty hard right there. It increases its special attack. So, yeah, we're going to get screwed if we don't beat this guy real quickly. So, here we go. Scratch attack. That does it. And we got one more scratch attack to go. Here comes a Charge Beam. And that right there takes a little bit more. But the good thing is that, you know, Abra is very, very frail. It's, it's all about his special attack right there. Thankfully, it is not an Alakazam, or else we probably would have been, uh, yeah, we probably would have been Donk Stop right here. And, well, Electrostar grows a level, so does Star Blade. Look at that, okay. The stars, and look at that, Thundershock. So we've defeated Kid Harrison right here, and he's like, oh, snap! That's how it is, then. Yes, yeah, so we get some Moolah for this one, and... It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Yeah, it is true. Now, make sure to heal your Pokemon because the next trainer does have, well, does have an Abra, and you do not want that on your conscience or anything like that. So let's go right ahead, battle her, and she's gonna be like, I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may, but may we battle? Yes, we can. All right, okay. So let's go ahead and battle our next opponent. Obviously. This person uh, does have a, an Abra right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on this Abra. And, well, here comes Infernomon. And, uh... Okay, so we're going to have to wait just a little bit, guys. I am getting a call. I'll be right with you. Alrighty, guys. I'm back. Had to take care of some business. Now, let's go back into uh, Infernomon's destruction right here. Going to go for a Scratch Attack. Obviously, we're going to get hit with a, uh, a Charge Beam right here. And thankfully, this guy is not like it's not super strong just yet, and we don't get paralyzed, which is great. There we go, physical attack working, and here we go again. Mm -hmm. And that one is going to hurt me a little bit more, but luckily for me, I do have backup Pokemon just in case we can't beat this guy. And well, here comes a charge beam one more time, and we get saved by one HP, so holy crud, alrighty, so, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta love that, you have to love that, so here we go, scratch attack, does it, wins it, and uh, there goes another one, and all three of my Pokemon grow levels, which is great, because I, I'm like, you know, I don't mind this, you know, having the experience, the experience share on every single Pokemon, it actually, I get that, you know, a lot of people don't like, how easy Pokemon games have gotten. But for me, it's, uh... Well, for me, technically, uh, for me, technically, when I... It, a guy with, like, limited time on so many things, it's actually good because it actually helps me... It actually helps me, uh, you know, train all my Pokemon, that, uh, the ones that I want to use and all that stuff. And that it's not just six Pokemon, guys. It's more than just six. And, well, I'm not... They, yeah, these guys don't really talk to me about anything. So that is that right here in the Pokemon's Trainer School. Now, we can't go beyond this place, I think. Yeah, we can't go because she's waiting for us right there. So let us start the little challenge right here. Now, this guy right here is going to look at us, and he's going to be like, Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketech yet. Poketech is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh, my. You are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufactured Poketechs. Not only that I condu I'm i conducting now, or not, not, or not only that I'm now conducting the Poketech promotional campaign. All you have to do is to find three clowns in the Jubilee City. If you can find them, three clowns. I'm looking at one right here. You're talking to one right here. So, yeah. I'll give you your very own Poketech right here, guys. Okay, so let's see. There's a clown right there. Again. Talk to this guy, and he's like, Hi, I'm a Pokedex campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience? Yes, it does. And because of that, we are going to get, yes, a po uh, Pokemon coupon. So that's po uh, the coupon number one right there. And, well, let's see. There is going to be something else right here. There's some Pokemon trainers. Look at that. She's got her Shinx and all that crud. Uh, let's see. The clown is going to be at this corner somewhere. I don't know. 
Now, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and visit some uh, some uh, some buildings because we kind of need to like grab some items, I believe. So let's see, uh, Pokemon's quite adorable. Yes, we are gonna get ourselves a quick claw because, well, you know, speed is always uh, everything, or hitting a Pokemon first is always everything. And, well, let's see, I don't think that there's another thing right here. Let's see, nope, there's nothing right there. Let's go right ahead and uh, talk to this person. Did you buy some heal balls at the Pokemon? A heal ball completely heals the Pokemon and it, and it catches a spot. Oh, wow, okay, so yes, there are some heal balls right here. And, well, yes, okay, so, yeah, there's really nothing else that we can actually do right here. You guys already know me, I like to visit everything, I like to cover everything, make sure that, you know, I grab some stuff. Uh, now, let's go back to the clowns right here, coming from this clown, and here we have one, and bam! Hi, I'm a Poke uh, Tech campaign clown, let's roll out my question. Can any Pokemon hold a question, or an item, yes? We can, and well, let's go ahead and grab that, and bam, we got ourselves a coupon number three. And well, let's go right ahead and take a look at anything else that may that we may be looking at. And I'm just like looking at the, the roof right there now. Let's see, before we do anything, there's nothing right there. I'm running, and there is the next clown. Let's talk to this guy. Just like Pokemon, do moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes, they do. Alrighty. If a Pokemon's type matches the type of a move it uses, that move is made more powerful. And yes, look at that. We get ourselves a coupon number two. So we got all three of these little bastards. Now, there is one little thing that we can grab. Let's go right in here. If we go into this building, we talk to this individual. Yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so, too? Am I right? Yes, you are. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. And yes, look at that. We get ourselves an old rod. And yes, uh, yeah, I don't need any tips to, to, to get any Pokemon or anything like that. So because of this, I kind of want to start right now, guys. I really do. I want to start right about now. They've actually included this into the uh, into the bag right here. So let's go right ahead, go back to our key items. As you can see, we got three coupons. Now you can register your item just like you did before. So we're gonna put this the old rod right there, and we're gonna try and capture another Pokemon. One uh, again, guys. I would like to capture every single Pokemon I've had in previous generations or the ones that I can. And I don't know what happened right there. So let's go right ahead and do this again. And what is going on? Nothing. Okay, so there's no nibbles. If you talk to this lady, I asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Kind of a kind of a bad boyfriend right there, homegirl. And well, let's see. Is there anything? Come on, something bites. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. This watering hole sucks. Okay, so let's see. Let's try this one more time. Look at that, look at that, look at that, come on, come on. Yes, and <laughs> nobody wants the bite right now. Okay, let's see. Come on. Don't be stupid. You. Oh god, I hate, I, I really do hate magic carps. Let's go straight back right here, and is there anybody gonna, come on, get a nibble. Come on, I'm a snack and nobody wants a bite. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. How are you guys doing? I'm pretty sure you had better luck than me on this one right here, right? Anywho, uh, you know what? Let me fast forward to when I can actually get a Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are. We got ourselves another Pokemon, and it is a Magikarp. Look at this guy. Just flipping and flopping and all that stuff. I think in Pokemon Platinum, I had him in a... Uh, I think I had him a... Uh, that's a red Gyarados, so we're gonna throw this because it's it's a Magikarp, guys. Seriously, it's a Magikarp. So there we go. Stand the ball, and yes, okay, alrighty. And well, there we go. We got ourselves Magikarp and Electrostar grows to level six. Okay, all right, okay. Look at that. Okay, so here is Magikarp looking flippity floppy. And it is the fish Pokemon. It is said to be the world's weakest Pokemon. No one, know, no one knows why it managed to survive. All right, so you guys already know what nickname we're gonna give this Pokemon. Let's go ahead and just give it the original nickname, okay? We're not gonna go by numbers. I think this is like the eighth. 
Yeah, you know what? I think th nah. I think this is the eighth magic carp. I don't really know, but we're just gonna call it like this, okay? We're just gonna call him Hydra. Welcome back to the team, Hydra. Alrighty. Well, like I said, guys, I'm not going to be using every single one of these same Pokemon. I'm just gonna, you know, train them, get them strong, you know, that kind of stuff. So here we are back in Jubilife. Since we already got the the uh, the coupons. Might as well go go ahead and talk to this guy right here to see what he'll give us. So, let's see. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Pokétex here. And one, two, and bravo! I say bravo! In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokémon Watch. Or Pokédex for sure! And look at that, we get ourselves a Pokétech. You can add apps to your Pokétech uh, to make it even more versatile. Please press the R button to try it out. So as you can see right here, the Pokétech, the press R to open your Pokétech. Control it by using the touch screen and hold it down and hold down and the R button to close it. Okay. So he's walking away and just like this, we're going to get ourselves a Pokétech. Uh, I'm going to press the R button right now. And look at that. We got the uh, Pokétech and if you press down on it, oh! Ha! <laughs> you learned something. Okay, so I am very notorious, guys, for not reading the instructions okay I did not know that you can just shut this off I was about to say look it's been put in the most inconvenient spot ever so you're not gonna be able to see what's going on there but let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokétech you can press the right side uh, joy button to actually switch out the uh, the apps as you can see you got a calculator right here you got a I guess step counter and then you got your Pokemon's uh, Pokemon's uh, health right here and then you got the time and what else? Yeah, pretty much that. Now, throughout the game, you will be getting new apps. Uh, I believe in the Pokétech company, will they will give you new apps depending on the amount of a uh, of a uh, what, what you call it badges you get. So what we're gonna do right now is I don't really need the Pokétech, so I'm just gonna press this down. There it is. Okay, so I think we've covered just about everything in this episode right here, guys. Uh, stay tuned. In the next one, we're gonna be going into the next route, probably capturing some new Pokémon. You know, the business and all that stuff. And uh, make our way to Orberg City. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.